Now for some seated poses, starting out, sitting with your feet flexed out ahead of you. As you inhale, taking the right foot to the inside of your left thigh, twisting to your right, your left hand to your knee, fingertips behind you, lifting your chest as you inhale, exhaling, turning a little bit more with each exhalation, a gentle drawing in and up of the lower abdomen, your rib cage staying wide open, your eyes soft and still or closed. Pushing away with your left heel. And releasing as you exhale, twisting the other way. Right hand to the outside of your left thigh above your knee. Fingertips behind you, lifting again. Exhaling, resisting against your thigh. Opening up your shoulders. Soft, ujjayi breathing deep in the back of your throat. Rotating your inner left elbow outwardly to open your shoulder. Exhaling as you release. And then placing your right foot flat on the floor with a gap between your foot and your thigh. Holding your shin down with the left hand, right arm lifting as you inhale. Exhaling, taking your arm around your shin and behind waist height, see if you can bind, easing your shin back with your arm, breastbone leading, using your right foot to help ease the right sitting bone back if it's lifting. Just listening to the sound of your breath, trying to keep the lower abdomen lifting inwards and upwards. Lengthening up as you inhale, releasing your arms as you exhale, twisting around to your right, left arm outside your right thigh, fingertips behind, lifting your chest as you inhale, exhaling, resisting against the side of your leg with your arm. Just focusing on the sound of your breath and gently pushing away with your left heel. Releasing as you exhale, taking the outside of your right foot in your left hand, opening up your arm's shoulder height, so a little bit higher. Twisting to look at your right thumb behind you. You can gently pull into your foot to ensure that your chest is lifting. And bend your leg if that's not possible. And releasing, changing hands, your right hand to the inside of your right foot, and then opening up your left arm, looking at your left thumb, trying to keep equal weight on both sitting bones, and gently easing away with your left heel. Concentrating on your breathing. And drawing your leg back to the center. You leave your leg in the air, so engaging your abdomen, interlocking your fingers, lifting your arms. Try and keep your shoulders down, your little fingers lifting up and back towards the floor behind you. So bend your right leg if this is a strain on your lower back, lowering your leg down slowly, releasing your hands, and then taking your left foot to the inside of your thigh. So twisting round to your left, Right hand to your left knee, fingertips behind you, lifting your chest, exhaling a little bit deeper with every exhalation. Gentle ujjayi breathing, soft whispering sound, trying to get the same volume, same intensity for your inhalations and your exhalations. Rotating your inner left elbow towards your thumb. And releasing as you exhale. Twisting the other way. Your left hand to the outside of your right thigh above your knee. Right fingertips behind. Lifting your chest. Exhaling as you turn. And 
hand releasing. Placing your left foot flat on the floor just in front of you. Holding your shin in the right hand, left arm lifting, reaching forwards and around. Reaching behind waist height if you can bind. Your elbows moving back, your breastbone easing itself forwards. And that gentle lift in the lower abdomen. And again, returning to the sound of your breathing. And gently easing your right heel away. Lengthening up as you inhale, releasing your hands as you exhale. You're taking the outside of your left foot in your right hand, opening left arm behind you to twist, looking at your thumb, pulling into your foot to help lift your chest, easing the right heel away from you. Make sure you're engaging your lower abdomen inwards and upwards. Trying to keep your breath long and deep. Changing hands, left hand to the inside of your foot, opening up to your right, looking at your right thumb. Trying to keep your back straight and your chest open. Coming back to the centre, interlocking your fingers, lifting your arms, trying to keep your heel lifted, lift inwards and upwards in the lower abdomen, little fingers tilting towards the floor behind you, and releasing your leg, lifting your chest a little way more. Going into a forward bend into Paschimottanasana, so your hands can go to your shins or reaching your toes if that's comfortable. Your breastbone leading, shoulder blades easing down your spine, the back of your neck long. Trying to keep that lift in the lower abdomen, creating space so you can lengthen your lower spine. Inhaling, lengthening up and releasing as you exhale. Taking your left foot to the outside of your thigh, placing your right foot flat on the floor in front of you. Going into a twist, left arm outside your thigh, fingertips behind you. Lifting your chest, arm and leg resisting against each other to help you turn. Pressing into the floor with your right foot to help ease your right hip further back. Releasing as you exhale. Crossing both hands over your right foot, lifting your lower abdomen before you start extending your leg. Keeping your chest open, so that might mean that your leg is a little bit bent. Keeping your breathing. And releasing. You take your ankle in both hands, try and ease your right shoulder under your right thigh. Going for a bind if you can, lifting your chest, turning your head to the left and if it feels comfortable to raise your right foot a little way, try not to slump in your lower spine, breathing deeply and releasing. 
placing the sole of your foot to the inner thigh, your right hand to your left knee, fingertips behind you, lifting your chest as you inhale, and exhaling as you turn to the left. Keeping your rib cage wide open, gentle ujjayi breathing, deep in the back of your throat. You're coming up onto your shins, wrapping your right arm behind you, pulling your right hip forwards with your left fingers, so you're lifting your chest, you're drawing your hips to the left as your upper body turns to the right, the back of your right hand easing into the small of your back or your hip bone, and releasing as you come back down to sitting, extending out your left leg, taking the right foot out behind you, placing the left foot flat on the floor, going into a twist, your left arm outside your right thigh, fingertips behind you, lifting your breastbone as you inhale, exhaling as you turn, long deep breath. Crossing your hands over your left foot, or lifting your breastbone before you extend your foot in the air, keeping your shoulders open. Long deep breath. bending the leg, taking hold of your ankle in both hands, easing your left shoulder under your thigh, going for a bind if you can with your hands waist high, lifting your chest as you inhale and if it's comfortable lifting the left foot a little way as you turn your head to your right. Your elbows trying to move back towards each other to open up your chest and releasing the left leg, taking the foot to the inside of your right thigh, twisting round to your right, left hand to right knee, lifting your chest, exhaling as you turn, keeping that lift in the lower abdomen, keeping that soft ujjayi breathing deep in the back of your throat. Releasing as you exhale, you're coming up onto your shins, so wrapping your arms around anti-clockwise, your left forearm behind you, your right fingers easing the left hip forwards as your upper body moves to the left, lifting the lower abdomen, gently easing the pelvis forwards as you twist a little bit more with every exhalation. exhaling, gently releasing your arms, coming down to sitting, extending out the right leg and the left leg, legs out wide now, fingertips either side of your right leg, moving your breastbone towards your shin and just gradually easing your way forwards, trying to keep the left sitting bone back, Engaging your lower abdomen to keep your spine level with your shin, coming up as you inhale, twisting around the other way, fingers either side of the left leg, easing forward as a long exhalation, a long inhalation coming back up, 
fingertips out ahead of you, your breastbone lifting before you hinge forward with a long, gentle exhalation. Just going to a comfortable place, coming up as you inhale. And again, twisting around, fingers either side of your right leg. If you can engage your abdomen to lift both legs, you might need to bend your knees to do that. And lower down with control. And twisting around the other way, fingertips either side. Leaning forwards a little way to help you, engaging the lower abdomen before you lift your legs. Keeping your breathing going. Lowering down with control. Fingertips ahead of you. Use your fingers to press into the floor to try and lift both legs. Lift inwards and upwards, ribcage open, releasing when you exhale. Crossing your right knee over your left one, so your knees ahead of you, making room for both sitting bones, edges of your feet on the floor. You take hold of your right elbow, back of your hand, on your spine, lifting the left arm, reaching behind. So, fingers binding if possible, otherwise just moving your hands towards each other. And slowly exhaling forwards over your thigh. So you might find you can drop your head down, maybe you can rest your head or your chin over your knee. If you're comfortable with this, giving your body weight to the floor. Coming up as you inhale, releasing your arms, you leave your legs crossed, taking the weight in your hands behind you so you can lift both legs, engaging your lower abdomen, interlocking your fingers, lifting your hands. Try and keep your tailbone away from the floor, breastbone lifting, trying to keep your knees high. Unraveling while you're there, keeping your feet up and then flexing them together. Long deep breaths. And ready to go into a twist, opening up your arms shoulder height, left arm outside your right thigh, looking behind at your left thumb. Resisting arm and leg against each other. Trying to stay forwards of your tailbone. And then releasing. You take your knees in both hands. Having a few breaths there. And then placing your right knee ahead of you, your left knee on top. Making room for both sitting bones, edges of your feet on the floor. And reaching behind, you're taking your right elbow, lifting your left arm, reaching behind, fingers either binding or moving towards each other, elbows lifting towards each other, and then exhaling as you hinge forwards. Long deep breaths. If it's comfortable to let your chin or your head rest on your knee, go there. Otherwise, just find a comfortable place. Try and relax in your hips and your thighs. Coming up as you inhale, releasing your arms, hands to the floor to help you lift both legs, keeping them crossed, gauging your lower abdomen before you interlock your fingers and lift your arms, trying to straighten your arms but keep your shoulders down away from your ears, rib cage wide open. Going into a twist here, right arm outside your top thigh, left hand opening up shoulder height behind you. Try and still lift in and up with the lower abdomen. A long deep breath, looking behind at the left thumb. Unraveling your legs, keeping your feet up, interlocking your fingers, lifting your arms. Trying to keep your shoulders down. Breathing long and deep. Releasing the soles of your feet together on the floor, gently pulling into your feet with your hands, and then exhaling. Just lower your head down, you can round your back, softening your shoulders. Just a very gentle pull into your feet. 
long, deep breath. Closing your eyes. Coming up as you inhale, gathering your knees. Coming into a squat. Knees together, feet together. Heels lifting, coming up into prayer position above your head. Going into a twist around right arm outside your left thigh. Going into a twisting bakasana as your arm shoulder heights. You can place your right hip on your right elbow or you can try this with the outer arm free if you find you can extend your legs out then go ahead when you place your feet down try and keep your feet and knees together coming up into prayer position again you're twisting round to your right left arm outside your thigh hands down shoulder distance coming up onto the tips of your toes or trying to get your forearms upright Extending your legs if that feels comfortable for you. Try and keep your breathing going. Bring your feet back together on the floor, coming back into the squat, knees together, up into prayer position above your head. And exhaling your knees, coming out wide, elbows low, knees up above the outer edges of your arms. Coming up onto the balls of your feet, you want to get your elbows above your wrists. So try and lift once your forearms are upright. If you want to drop your head down gently, on the back of your neck long if you're going to go into a headstand. So pressing down with your hands. You can come up gradually, slowly. Long deep breaths. And keep your shoulders lifting. Try coming down with one leg and then the other. And then dropping your knees and resting in child's pose. <laughs>